Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this uh, video we're going to show about the Microsoft SQL Express 2012 which uh, I'm selecting this file because I realized that this package right here it comes with Express uh, with tools uh, with the local database includes the database and engine of uh, SQL uh, server management uh, studio Express I have tried different method before and uh, did not work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it didn't. And I'm just going with the steps right here if you can follow and guide if you need it. Otherwise, there's no use for if you don't need it. But I had to experience this on my own because um, I had a project from school and I ran into some problem how to execute it. And at the same time, I did use an SQL Studio on my work related and I did not learn enough from it but I wanted to try this at home in my, in my own experience. Here you see that I'm checking the local database. I installing it this time with the whole package. I tried before and some other function did not work so I rather install it with it. As you see right here, I'm installing this uh, future and, and the whole package. And uh, one of the options you see right here is that I selected by default a SQL Express. I want to leave it that way um, for the installation and uh, also for the configuration. As you notice right here, it's going to take me to a step also this right here to the SQL Server Browser. I want to leave it to automatic. Next, we are setting up the Mix Mode account. As you see right here, if we check this option, it's going to give us an option to set a password here for the server administration. The SA account represents the service administration. We will see it later on when we log in. So here I'm setting up a password so I can use that account to able to access it and um, execute it later on with no problems. As you see right here, I'm finishing the process of uh, installing everything on my Beamware um, machine. The video is a little longer, but I cut this up in pieces to put it together so it wouldn't be that long. As you see right here, it successfully installed all the package, all the files that contain the package with no errors. And as you see right here, I'm just going to close these windows and I'm going to open up the SQL uh, Studio Management in order to execute a data here. So there's a specific data that I got from several tutorials that I see here I was saying that the account. So the system, the service administration account with the password I just created, that's how you will log in with no error. As soon as you log in over here, well, as you see right here in my database, I have nothing. Well, I didn't open, but I have nothing. So I have a database that I pulled up online from a lot of tutorials. This um, database is made uh, back in 2000, as you see right there, 1994 to 2000. So I'm just going to execute it right here after I pull up the file. And uh, we executed successfully with um, zero errors. Um, and so what I do right here, I will refresh it from refreshing it, it will save the database under um, the database option over here. And as you see, I have a table right here, all the tables under that database. I'm just going to close that. So I'm going to run um, the 1000 database from this. And then it's going to give a result for this. So as you see right here, I have 77 rows just from that database. Or a query and then what I'm going to do right here I'm going to do a query which is uh, I needed this option it took me so long just to get to this point right here. so what I'm doing right here is that I have selected the database right here just the top and what I'm doing I'm going to pull some database uh, from um, let's see what I'm going to do from orders so I'm going to put another window so I'm going to put it from the uh, orders and then that way I will secure it to see what, what uh, query I'm going to get of course I'm going to get the Nordwin and I'm going to execute it. And as you see right there, it gave me a great result with over uh, 130 rows. Uh, this is something that I needed uh, for school as a project. And finally, I got it together. And uh, thank you for watching my YouTube channel.
until next video